Hey, sub! We're back in the game we all know and love to check out some easy-to-make traps. You know, simple stuff. Things players at home should already be doing. It's time for 11. Easiest Minecraft traps that everyone should know in Minecraft. The whole point of today is to show some of you more rookie players how to really get started. Started with trapping players in Minecraft. I want you to go over all of your basic redstone knowledge and make use of some easy to find blocks and items that can help. So sub, let's get into it. Number one, the dark room. Sometimes disorientating players is as simple as turning out the light. The problem is hiding a really dark space out in the open. Luckily, Minecraft is a game that allows us to dig underground. And with plenty of dark and dingy caves to take inspiration from, you can go crazy creating the most demonic dark room possible. Use black concrete to ensure that the walls are as dark as the night sky. And don't add any torches whatsoever. The room will be so confusing to be in that players may even rage quit for a while before you reveal the secret. However, the biggest secret comes from how you get them in there. You see, most players won't willingly walk into something like this. Instead, you need to lure them into another handy trigger point. For this one, we'll use a button with an appetizing sign. Make sure to check out the link in the description to buy mine coins for Minecraft Bedrock Edition from G2A. Number 2. The Slow Burner. This one's a kicker. As we all know, fire is a destructive and disastrous entity that causes more harm than good. We can use that to really strike some fear into players' hearts. Steve's house is made completely out of wood, for example. Any sign of a fire and he's sure to freak out. So dig yourself a tunnel to his house and then plant a trail of wool, block by block, right back to where you came from. Then just grab a flint and tinder. The best thing about this fire trail is that Steve won't see it coming until it's right under his house. Smelling any smoke yet, Steve? <laughs> oh, well, let's see. If you're learning something from this video, then make sure to give it a like. It means a lot to the sweet Minecrafters that play on sub server. From Steve to newbie to Minecraft Pro. And of course, we can't forget you, Sub. We like you the most. Number three, the water bucket pusher. This one's easy. Hey, see that AFK Minecraft Pro with lots of armor? See how you don't have any sub? Well, never fear. You can sacrifice three iron to craft a bucket, right? Then grab water and just push Pro off the edge. Nicely done. Number four, Dungeon Crawler. Everyone loves finding a dungeon in the caves. It's a huge treat. And the first thing you do other than light up the spawner is to check those chests. However, what players won't be expecting is one of those chests to actually be booby trapped. Using an item literally called trap chests, you can trigger some more redstone in an even more unexpected way. Practically no different to an ordinary chest. You'd be hard pressed as an excited player to ever expect anything. But as soon as they open it, you could have anything happen. Like lava descend from the roof to burn them. Bye, Steve. And hello to all you new subscribers. In case you haven't heard the news, we're on our way to hitting 2 million subscribers. Or at least that's what we're trying hard to do. Sub has been campaigning for more subs all year. And hopefully, with so many of you watching today, we can make a dent in that big goal we have. So make sure to subscribe and enjoy the rest of the video. Number five. The TNT Bomb. We've already used TNT, but we made Steve go to it. Now, we're gonna make the TNT go to Steve. How? Well, so
simple gravity, of course. Wire up a huge set of TNT using the spiral blocks into the sky. You could even just use a chain of redstone torches. Either way, link it up to a trigger, and Steve won't know what's coming. Not from ahead, anyway. Maybe if he looks above, though. Oh, well, too late, I guess. Number 6. Obsidian Plating Let's be honest, no one likes mining obsidian. Blah. But if you have to go through the effort of mining enough of it, you can wait for a player to go AFK before completely encasing them in a room full of it. Hopefully they have a diamond pickaxe on them. Otherwise, it's going to be a long night. Sorry, Steve. Number 7. The Fake Location Another simple one. Some players on this server love coming to find you, sir. Most are looking for an autograph, but some want to prank and even fight you. Like this pro here. The thing is, he can only find you if he knows where you are. So just direct him to a fake house or landmark that doesn't exist. Find the triple mountain range, or go left until you see a giant tree house. Chances are this pro will be looking for a while. Well, unless someone has built any of those things. But I'm not too sure if we're going to find them, or them, for however long it takes. Number 8. Doorbells and Doorbells a cute feature that many Minecraft builders add to their houses is a doorbell. Just a simple button that, when played, sounds a melodic tune, letting you know that a guest has arrived. Sometimes players can abuse these doorbells, however. So let's get Steve back. You can wire up a doorbell to, well, anything. But how about we keep the note blocks and also add a whole bunch of other sound-making objects and blocks? Now Steve won't ever want to press the doorbell. To make matters worse, why not wire up some command blocks? Have a wither spawn in. Blow up everything. Okay, maybe I'm getting a little bit of ahead of myself. Maybe you guys can let us know in the comments what you would attach to the other side of a doorbell. Number 9. The Epic Lure And once again, with players loving diamonds and epic loot so much, why not entice them by promising a prize to the first person on the server to reach a certain point? But before you even tell them this, make sure to set up a trap there first, like one we've discussed, or even something like an anvil drop. Number 10, Coordinate Flipperoo. Hey, what an easy prank. It looks like Steve is trying to find you. He probably wants diamonds. I know, I know, so. Instead of giving him your coordinates exactly, maybe do a little switcheroo and flip the X and Z coordinates. This will cause Steve to end up in a completely random place in the middle of nowhere and waste a whole chunk of time. Oopsie daisy, Steve. I don't know what went wrong. Number 11, The Casual Killer. And last but not least, you can play it cool. Much like the popular game Among Us, you can act like an imposter, make your friends trust you, earn their respect, and just as they turn around, be the one to kill them. If they don't see, then just apologize and say it was an accident. A truly evil but totally easy way to finish the job. <laughs> Ah, awesome job, sub! 15 of the easiest Minecraft traps that everyone should know in Minecraft. These ideas are, of course, all fairly simple. But truth be told, there are many far more complex traps. And you'll need to learn them soon as your friends will eventually start getting suspicious and predicting your easier traps. Stay safe, Minecrafters, and make sure to subscribe. We'll see you next time, sub. Bye-bye.